Gentlemen, and remain standing to honor America with the playing of our national anthem by the best sounding band in the land, the Purple Haze Pitman. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you've given us. Thank you for the players and coaches representing their universities here tonight. Please help them to play to the best of their abilities and to be injury free. Let everything we do be done to your glory. In your name we pray, amen. Coliseum on the beautiful campus of the Northwestern State University. And now let's get ready for tonight's game by meeting our starting lineups. First, for our visitors from New Orleans. At guard, a 5'7 senior from Houma, Louisiana, number 22, Randy Brown. At guard, a 5'3 junior from Zachary, Louisiana, number 23, Mariah Wright. At center, a 6'1 junior from Houston, Texas, number 30, Shania Woods. At forward, a six-foot sophomore from Houston, Texas, number 31, Asia Woods. At guard, a 5'8 senior from McKinney, Texas, number 32, Kayla Mundy. Head coach of the Privateers is Keyshawn Davenport, assisted by Wakitha Harrell, Alpha English, and Kristen Moore. And now, fans on your feet! And welcome to tonight's Northwestern State Starters. At guard, a 5'4 sophomore from Harlington, Texas. Number one, Gabby Bell. At guard, a 5'8 freshman from Compel, Texas. Number three, Cheeto At forward, a six-foot sophomore from Carrollton, Texas. Number 13, Victoria Miller. At forward, a 6'1 junior from Richfield, Minnesota. Number 20, Leah Barnes. And at forward, a 5'11 sophomore from McKinney, Texas. Number 23, Jocelyn. Head coach of the Demons is Jordan Dupuy. Head coach of the Demons is Jordan Dupuy, assisted by Denise Parker, Aaron Crane, and Olivia Grayson. Jocelyn Scott is starting today at the three spot. Jocelyn, 5'11", sophomore from McKinney, Texas, McKinney North High School. Joss, 6.4 points per game, coming off a career best 13-point performance Saturday against Central Arkansas. Victoria Miller in the starting lineup at power forward. Victoria, 4.1 points, 2.8 rebounds per game. Vic, a six-foot sophomore from Carrollton, Texas, Hebron High School. And at the five, as mentioned by Coach Jordan Dupuy, is Leah Barnes. Leah, six foot one, junior transfer from Richfield, Minnesota, and the North Dakota State College of Science. Barnes averaging 5.5 points, 2.9 assists. She had a career high 14 points in just 16 minutes of the second half last Wednesday at New Orleans. She will jump sitter against Shania Woods. Lady Demons in their home whites with the purple trim and the orange stripe down the side. Northwestern State in arch text and purple outlined in orange. Miller will jump against Shania Woods. 
Miller wins the tip, and the Lady Demons have it. Gabby, Gabby Bell leading into the front court. New Orleans dressed in blue, royal blue. Silver numerals outlined in white. A little gray trim around the waist and around the bottom of the shorts. Here's Bell. Freeman looking inside for Barnes. Barnes takes in the high pass, spins, shoots, and it's tipped out of bounds by Shania Woods. 11 seconds on the shot clock for Northwestern State. Bell will inbound under her own basket. Hooks finds Miller in the corner. Miller shot fake, drives, spins. She picks up a dribble. Got to shoot, turns around with six on the shot clock and misses off the right side. Woods pulls it down, pushes it ahead to Mariah Wright. Wright dribbling with the right hand in the front court, gives it to Brown near the top of the key. Works it around to Woods. Woods looking for her sister inside. Pass too tall, but stays inbound. Swings it back to Mariah Wright near the top of the key. She gives to Mundy on the right wing. Interior pass to Woods. Woods lays it up. Shania Woods on the basket. Asia Woods on the assist. New Orleans leads 2-0 one minute into the first quarter. Lady Demons running a 1-4 set. Trying to get it inside to Barnes. She has it on the catch. Swings it to Freeman in the corner. Inside out. Barnes has it again. Jump stop. Shot. No good. Offensive rebound. Miller. Miller with a put back. Lady Demons have tied it in two. Nice job by Victoria Miller. No one boxed her out. She got to the baseline. Made the rebound and put it back up. Right with a slow dribble at the top of the key, gives it to Brown. Brown being guarded by Miller. That's a little different matchup than we saw a week ago tonight. Monday in the corner, corner inside the woods. There's going to be a foul called on Jocelyn Scott. First foul on Scott. She overplayed the pass and was called for clipping Shania Woods on the arm. First foul on Scott. First foul on the Lady Demons. We played a little less than two minutes. 2-2 two -two game. Wright will inbound from the baseline. She gets it into Asia Woods. Woods can't handle it, and it goes out of bounds, and it will stay with New Orleans. Hey, hey. Jada Freeman and Jocelyn Scott were around Woods on the catch. Again, Wright will trigger from the inbounds to Woods, guarded by Gabby Bell. Way out top to Randy Brown. Back to Mariah Wright. Brown on the baseline in the corner, dribbling. Pulls up for three. That one's short, rebounded by Jada Freeman. Freeman on the push, no number. She'll pull it back out and look to set up the offense in the front court. Here's Scott on the drive. She'll get to the free throw line, back it out, look for Miller inside. Miller had the ball knocked away, gets it back. Freeman drives baseline layup, no good, tipped out. Defensive rebound by Mariah Wright, and they're going to call Gabby Bell for the foul. Bell and... Wright arriving at about the same time. Asia Woods will go out, replaced by Haley Matthews, a six-foot senior from Harvey, Louisiana, West Jefferson High School. First time we'll see Matthews tonight. Coming up on seven and a half minutes in a 2-2 game. Lady Demons looking to snap a three-game losing streak. Here's Matthews to Mundy in the right corner. Mundy going to pull a three, and it's going to be good. Kayla Mundy. One of three double-figure scorers on average for New Orleans. Connects on the first three-pointer of the game. Bell into the front court dribbling. She gives it to Miller up top. To Freeman. Freeman looking inside. Can't find Barnes. Swings it back up top to Scott. Scott, one dribble back to Freeman. Freeman dribbling. Now looks inside, throws it away. Lady Demons were plagued by turnovers last week down in New Orleans, coughing the ball up 30 times. This time the first turnover of the game for Northwestern State. Here's Wright into the corner. Mundy going to try it again. She's off on the shot. Loose ball. Shania Woods tracks it down and manages to keep it in bounds. Kicks it cross court to Mundy. Mundy going to drive left side. Layup of the right hand is good. 7-2, five unanswered points for New Orleans. Lady Demons push quickly into the front court. Barnes to Scott on the wing. Scott going to dribble to the right, going to try to get out of a trap. She can't do it. It's tipped, and it's loose, and Mariah Wright has it. Privateers on the run to Brown up the right wing. Brown back to right. Going to pull it out and slow the offense down. 
is Mundy. Left hand entry pass to Woods. Shania Woods spins and gonna be a timeout called as Woods' shot was good. Seven straight points, 9-2. Jordan Dupuy gonna call a timeout. We'll take a 30 second break and join you back here. 6.07 to go in the first quarter. New Orleans 9, Northwestern State 2 on the Demon Sports Network. Robert Hayes, 0 2 one, three for a chance to sit in the best seat in the house, sponsored by Ivan Smith Furniture. Again, text Demons to 4-0-2-1-3. If you receive a message, you have won. Calm down to the score table and claim your prize. sponsors of Lady Demon Basketball on the Demon Sports Network. They stretched the initial timeout into a media timeout, so we took a little longer break. Back here now, 9-2, New Orleans leading on a 7-0 run. Lady Demon so far just one for five from the field, a couple of turnovers. New Orleans four for six, their only misses have been from three-point range. New Orleans gonna pressure lightly in the backcourt. Freeman gonna push it into the front court. Look for Barnes. Barnes back out to Bell. Bell going to reset the offense. Sends Freeman on the cross. Back to Miller on the left wing. Miller off a of Barnes screen. Picks up her dribble. She's in trouble. Gets it to Leah. Leah in the lane. That's going to be a charge on Leah Barnes. It's like Mariah Wright got there in time. Jody Taylor, one of our referees, at least said she did. So first foul on Barnes. Third foul on the Lady Demons. And Right now, Northwestern State doesn't look much better than it did a week ago early against New Orleans. The offense is not clicking yet, and much like that first quarter, which a week ago was 21-11 after one, it's 9-2 early, Privateers leading. Mariah right into the front court. Lady Eamon's going to try some different defenses right now. They are in a, they're playing mostly man-to-man. -man. Here's Mundy, left-hand dribble. And good, scoring over Miller. Miller was stride for stride with her, but Mundy able to finish. Kayla Mundy with a left-hand layup. 11-2, nine straight points for New Orleans. Here's Jocelyn Scott on a drive. Scott throws it away. Freeman's able to save it. No, she's not. Mariah Wright saved it, threw it off. Freeman, whose toes were on the out-of-bounds line. Northwestern State will sub in two players. Tia Youngblood in for Victoria Miller, Jasmine Johnson. Enters for Jocelyn Scott. Tia Youngblood, the 5'10 senior from DeRitter, Louisiana, DeRitter High School, and Jasmine Johnson, the 5'8 sophomore from West Monroe, West Monroe High School. Here's Haley Matthews on a drive. She pulls up, shot is too strong. Battle for the rebound, pulled down by Randy Brown. Brown gonna work baseline and pick up a dribble. Finds a cutter. Ball was lost, Mariah Wright lost it. Freeman picks it up, she's on the push to Bell. Bell into the front court. Mundy back to defend her and stop the fast break. There's Tia Youngblood to J uh, Jada Freeman. Freeman trapped, gets it away to, Free uh, to Johnson. Johnson, lazy pass inside. It's tipped, and there's going to be a foul called on Mariah Wright. Wright called for her first foul. Getting into Barnes on the catch. So, Lady Demons catch a little bit of break. Shot clock was running down. Offense got a little stagnant there, and New Orleans bailed him out. Here's Bell on the inbound from the baseline for Johnson. Tipped by Mundy back out of bounds. So we'll do it again, this time on the right side of the basket stanchion. Gabby Bell to trigger in. Bell looking, looking, finds Youngblood inside. Youngblood lays it up and in. Nice job by Tia Youngblood. 
Youngblood with a catch with a pump fake and then the layup. That stops a 9-0 New Orleans run and makes it 11-4 Privateers. Here's Mundy spinning at the baseline, stops. Here's Woods. Woods going to toss it back to Mundy at the top of the key. Jada Freeman now guarding Randy Brown, the Southland's leading scorer. Brown with the left hand, and she walked. Nice job by Leah Barnes. Barnes came over to create the trap. Brown traveled. So a chance for the Lady Demons to score on a couple of possessions and get back in this game. Bell, right-hand dribble, looks for Johnson in the corner. Johnson to Barnes. Barnes looks, drives, and she's going to have stepped out of bounds trying to get around Shania Woods on the baseline. The turnover for the Lady Demons, that is their fifth. Five turnovers in the first six minutes of play. That's not a good ratio. Here's a give and go, Shania Woods blocked by Tia Youngblood. Woods gets it back, blocked again by Youngblood. Can't control the rebound, but it was knocked out of bounds by New Orleans. Nice job by Tia Youngblood. Least one block and an alteration, if not two blocks. We'll check the stats. So good job by Tia. She's come in and brought a little bit of energy. Lady Demons in the front court. Barnes swings it to Bell on the left side. Bell checked out top by Shania Woods. There's Youngblood. Youngblood to Johnson. Johnson free throw line jumper. Good. Jasmine pivoted, looked for someone to pass it to and decided to take a shot. So that's a good sign. Jasmine Johnson since scoring 21 points against Sam Houston State two weeks ago. Has scored a total of eight points in the three games since then. So good to see her off and going early. 11-6, Privateers lead. Here's Brown, going to drive on the left wing. Dish to Haley Matthews, but they're going to call a charge. Leah Barnes steps in and takes the charge. Randy Brown called for the offensive foul. The three-minute mark will have a substitution for New Orleans. Entering the game is DeAndre Thomas. 5'6", freshman, Thibodeau, Louisiana, home of Christian High School. Substitution for New Orleans, uh, excuse me, for Northwestern State. Victoria Miller back in for Leah Barnes. And Leah, so far, seven minutes in the first half. And Jordan Dupuis said she's going to have to probably give 25 to 30 minutes. And that's going to be somewhat uncharted territory for Leah Barnes, whose career high is 25 minutes back in November. Here's Miller at the top of the key to Bell on the left wing. Bell looking, driving, kicks it to Freeman. Freeman going to pull the three-pointer, leave it short. It's rebounded by Matthews. Matthews ahead to right. Right going to push the tempo a little bit, pull it up, look back for Matthews at the top of the key. Matthews to Mundy. Mundy going to drive left hand, pull up with the right. No good. Jada Freeman, a good, strong defensive rebound. Lady Demons have numbers. Mundy is hurt on the other end of the court. Let's see if NSU can take advantage. Gabby Bell for three. No good. Rebound, fall four, taken away by Tia Youngblood. Youngblood to Johnson, Johnson for three, no good. Offensive rebound, Youngblood, Youngblood to Bell. Bell back to Johnson, Johnson gonna drive and lay it up high off the glass and it's good. Yes. Northwestern State taking advantage of two offensive rebounds, something the Lady Demons have scuffled with this year. But they've scored six in a row and it's 11-8. New Orleans a minute 55 to play here in the first quarter. Mundy working on that sore ankle. Slow dribble weave, here's Thomas, pull up. No good, defensive rebound, Tia Youngblood. Youngblood playing with a little bit of energy. Gets it ahead to Bell, Bell into the front court. Bell dribbled the left hand to Freeman. Freeman gonna try the baseline, pick up her dribble. Tipped and taken away by Kayla Mundy. Mundy fouled hard by Tia Youngblood. Youngblood getting a pat on the back from New Orleans head coach Keyshawn Davenport. It was a hard foul, but nothing on purpose by Tia. Shania Woods is going to come out in favor of her sister, Asia Woods. So it's a Woods for Woods swap. New Orleans will inbound in front of its own bench. 11-8, Privateers lead, a minute and a half to go here in the first quarter. Slow dribble by Wright. She'll swing it to Mundy. Mundy moving slightly better here. She was hurt a couple of possessions ago, but has stayed in the game. Picks up her dribble, looks for Brown. Brown on a nice cut, loses, lays it in, and it's no good, rattles out. Woods can't control the rebound. Tipped in, right layup, good. DeAndre Thomas with the back tap, nicely done. Lady Demons looking to run, and they have turned it over. Kayla Mundy picking up the loose ball in the backcourt. 
Pushes ahead to right, right step for step with Gabby Bell. Bell's trying to stop momentum. There's a pass to Matthews in the corner. Three-pointer for Haley, no good. Defensive rebound by Jasmine Johnson. She is fouled. That call is going to go against DeAndre Thomas. Her first foul. That is the third foul on New Orleans this quarter. Nautica Grant has checked in for Northwestern State. Grant, five foot four, junior transfer from Dallas, Texas, Richardson High School, Tyler Junior College. She is Northwestern State's leading scorer, certainly among healthy players, at 10.8 points per game. Johnson inside the young blood. Young blood with Mundy on her jump stop. Shot no good. Mundy with the rebound. Pulls it away, takes it up the court. Moves it into the front court. Under a minute, under 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. New Orleans leading Northwestern State 13 to 8. 10 seconds to go. Mundy gonna slow the dribble. Shot clock is off. And with six seconds left, still has not initiated the offense. Now she does, she'll drive and lose it out of bounds as the buzzer sounds. So that's the end of your first quarter. New Orleans 13, Northwestern State 8. We'll take a one minute break and be back here on the Demon Sports Network. By Bolton Realty. Happening this Saturday at the doubleheader against McNeese. Make sure you purchase your ticket for your chance to win from any of our staff members. Shots for the first quarter there. Four for 12, 0 for 3 from three point land. New Orleans six for 14 after a four for six start. One for four from three point range. Neither team has shot a free throw. Maybe the one key stat if you're looking for something good for Northwestern State eight rebounds to eight rebounds. Lady Demons have scuffled at times on the boards. Jordan Dupuy mentioned it early this uh, in this pregame show. Not a lot of depth up front right now. We'll reset the lineup on the court for Northwestern State as the second quarter starts. Nautica Grant, Gabby Bell in the backcourt. Front court is Jasmine Johnson, Victoria Miller, and Tia Youngblood. Kayla Mundy, Randy Brown, Mariah Wright, Shania Woods, and Haley Matthews on the court for New Orleans. Here's Matthews, free throw line jumper, no good, tipped out of bounds by Asia Woods. Ball will stay with New or uh, excuse me, will go to Northwestern State. Lady Demons inbounding under the visiting basket. Gabby Bell into the front court. Soft pass up top to Victoria Miller. Miller to Youngblood. Youngblood outside the three-point line where she's not a threat. There's Grant coming off a cut. It's going to go to Miller. Miller looking, looking. Now going to dribble with the left hand. Forced out. Here's Jasmine Johnson into the lane. Johnson, wild shot, but she's fouled. So Jasmine, good hard drive down the lane. They're going to get Haley Matthews on the foul, saying Matthews hit Johnson across the brow. Jasmine, a 66.7% free throw shooter. That's two out of every three this year, 16 of 24. Sophomore shoots the first one and swishes it home. That's a four-point game, 13 to 9. Johnson now with five of Northwestern State's nine points. Second free throw, also good. Jasmine Johnson, two for two at the line. Lady Demons cut the de deficit to 13 to 10. 
Here's Brown on the right wing, guarded by Johnson. Johnson up hounding the Southland's leading scorer. Lob into Matthews. Matthews out to right. Right going to drive the baseline. Kick it to Woods. Brown, quick release, three. Short, no good. Ball tipped out of bounds. Nautica Grant and Tia Youngblood got their hands on it for Northwestern State, but could not control it. It'll be a fresh shot clock for the Privateers. 9.02 to go in the second quarter. Northwestern State trailing New Orleans 13 to 10. Here's Asia Woods off the inbound. Short jumper is banked in and good. Rolled around about three times before it dropped. Here's Nautica Grant, fast break, layup, no good. T. Youngblood fights for the offensive rebound and gets it. She'll reset. Bell looking too tall on the pass. It somehow makes its way to Youngblood, who drives the baseline, kicks it to Grant. Grant, corner three is good. Nautica Grant, her first bucket of the game. The left-handed junior off the feed from Tia Youngblood connects on her 35th three-pointer of the season. New Orleans, Randy Brown trap, gives it out to Mariah Wright. Right, nice pass on the dribble drive to Matthews. Matthews lays it in, pace picking up a little bit. Brown, or excuse me, Bell into the front court to Grant. Grant loses it, gets it back to Youngblood. Youngblood on the drive, she loses it, fighting for it. It's gonna be a jump ball. Possession will stay with Northwestern State. Checking back into the game for Northwestern State, Leah Barnes and Jocelyn Scott in for Tia Youngblood. Excuse me, Tia Youngblood will stay out. It's Jasmine Johnson to Victoria Miller coming in. And Kayla Mundy and Shania Woods back in for New Orleans. Lob inside, Youngblood has it, loses it. It's tipped out of bounds and will stay with Northwestern State. On the floor for the Lady Demons, Nautica Grant, Gabby Bell, Leah Barnes, Tia Youngblood, and Jocelyn Scott. Inbound to Barnes. Barnes, short shot, won't go. She gets her own rebound, lays it back up. It won't go again. Mariah Wright has it and clears ahead to Kayla Mundy. Mundy will pull things back out and reset the offense for New Orleans. Here's Randy Brown on the left side. Brown now dribbling with the right hand toward the free throw line, kicks and finds an open shooter, it's no good. Rebounded by Whitley Larry, who's in the game for the first time. Her follow, no good. Tia Youngblood pulls down the rebound for Northwestern State. We'll get you the particulars on Whitley Larry here in a moment. Here's Grant, now trapped out near half court, and she's gonna be bumped and fouled by Whitley Larry. Larry, a six foot one sophomore from Rain, Louisiana, Rain High School. Second foul on New Orleans this quarter. First on Larry. Jocelyn Scott inbounding on the far sideline. Gets it to Gabby Bell. Bell to Barnes. Barnes not a threat on the three-point line. She gets it to Grant, who definitely is. Bell now dribbles with the left hand to Grant. Grant, top of the key. Three is no good. Rattles out. Shania Woods able to run it down. Gets it to Mariah Wright. Wright pushing into the front court to Woods. Woods swings it to Mundy. Monday to Brown, Brown gonna triple with the left hand, pull up, leave the jumper short, but it rattles in. Sunk over the front of the rim and settled in for Randy Brown. Nautica Grant pull up three, good! Nice quick push by Gabby Bell. Bell swung it about six feet, Grant with the three. Her second three of the game, it's 19-16 New Orleans, 6.40 to play in the second quarter. Here's Mariah Wright, picks up her dribble, looks for Shania Woods at the top of the key. Woods over to Mundy. Mundy looking for Woods, who positions inside. Blocked again by Tia Youngblood. Leah Barnes comes away with the loose ball. Tia Youngblood playing well on the defensive end tonight for the Lady Demons. Grant trapped on the sideline, gets it out to Jocelyn Scott. Scott to Barnes. Barnes' jumper is blocked by Larry. And that will stay here as it goes out of bounds. Gabby Bell will inbound underneath the basket. Barnes is gonna check out. Victoria Miller checking back in for Northwestern State. Lady Demons Trail 19-16, 6-10 to go in the second quarter. Gabby Bell inbounding under her own basket. Gets it into Youngblood. Youngblood will swing it quickly back to Bell who resets at the circle. Bell looking, Jocelyn Scott. Scott gonna drive, spin. Throw up the lefty, no good. Miller rebounds, throws it up. She's gonna be fouled. Nice job by Victoria Miller. 
And right now, the Lady Demons are doing something they have not done very well all year, and that's rebound offensively and turn it into second chance points. Foul is called on Whitley Larry, her second, team's third of the quarter. And without Cheyenne Brown, without Libba Gillum tonight, Lady Demons missing two of their top rebounders. Victoria Miller at the line, first free throw is short and no good. Haley Matthews checking back in. For New Orleans, subbing in for Whitley Larry. Victoria Miller, 12 of 23 now from the line this season. Her second free throw deep knee bend from Vic is good. 19-17, New Orleans leading. Hit under six minutes here in the second quarter. Mariah Wright, slow right hand dribble. Swings it back to the top of the key for Mundy. Mundy for Matthews, Matthews driving. Ball knocked out of bounds. Victoria Miller came over to try to knock it away and ended up knocking it off Tia Youngblood's head. Reset the privateer lineup for you. Randy Brown, who will inbound the ball. Haley Matthews, Shania Woods, Kayla Mundy, and Mariah Wright on the court right now has it. At the top of the key for Matthews. Matthews trying a big to big pass. Woods has it inside, throws it up, no good. Loose ball, fault for recovered by Matthews. So a second chance for New Orleans. Here's Woods, top of the key out of the high post, tries to dribble, thinks better of it, flips it out. Jocelyn Scott with a steal, tipped it up and pulled it away. Joss going to push. Grant has it on the left wing. Three-pointer is no good. Offensive rebound, Gabby Bell. She'll slow things down and reset. Nautica Grant trying to hear Jordan Dupuy from the far side. Jordan a little bit under the weather today. Took some antibiotics. Hopefully he gets over what ails him soon. Ball tipped out of bounds. Looked like Haley Matthews did not agree with Cheney Munch's call. That's going to lead us to immediate timeout. 4.50 to go in the second quarter. Northwestern State trailing New Orleans 19-17. We'll be back on this other side of a one-minute break here on the uh, Demon Sports Network. February 21st at 6.30 p.m. Call 357-4268 or visit nsudemons.com to get your tickets today. of Northwestern State basketball on the Demon Sports Network. Lady Demons hanging in right now with New Orleans, trailing 19-17 with 4.50 to go in the second quarter. Lady Demons a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Jocelyn Scott will inbound with 14 seconds on the shot clock in front of the New Orleans bench. Scott, Tia Youngblood, Victoria Miller, Nautica Grant, and Gabby Bell the, court, uh, the quintet on the floor for the Lady Demons. Here's the inbound to Grant in the corner. Grant looking and try to use a young blood screen. Swings it up to Miller, Miller to Bell. Six seconds on the shot clock. Gabby's got to initiate something. Three seconds, two seconds. Grant doesn't realize it gets it off somehow and banks it off the edge. No good, it's rebounded by Shania Woods and turned over. Tia Youngblood fighting hard in the backfield, excuse me, in the backcourt. Recovers the loose ball and gives the Lady Demons a possession. Youngblood now with it, looking for Miller, going to hold it on the right side. Take it into the paint. Spins and it's knocked out of bounds. Shot blocked by Haley Matthews out of bounds. So Northwestern State will maintain possession. 13 seconds on the shot clock, so a wild possession. Lady Demons trying to get the offense going. It's been a little stagnant here lately. Bell triggering from below her basket into Grant on the wing. Grant to Miller in the short corner. Miller going to drive baseline. 
Her pass tipped, but finds its way to T. Youngblood. Youngblood shot no good. Rebound to Randy Brown. Brown looks to push. Goes behind the back into the lane. Finds Mariah Wright. Wright going to try the behind the back dribble. She's going to look to Matthews. Matthews just outside the free throw line. Top of the key gives back to Brown. Brown dribbling. Straight ahead, drives against Miller, stops, feeds Shania Woods. Left-hand shot by Woods is good, and she's fouled. Haley Matthews. Haley Matthews, excuse me, that's going to be Shania Woods. Foul is on Jocelyn Scott. Scott, the left-hand, uh, excuse me, the left-hand layup was good by Woods. Subject in for New Orleans. For the first time, you may have heard a little bit of a, a shout there. It's Jada Duncantell. Duncantell, a freshman, five foot four from next door at Nagadish Central High School. Free throw by Woods is good. 22 17 lead for New Orleans as we approach three and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Here's Bell. Bell going to cross over back into the lane, give it to Grant. Grant, three pointer on the way, and it's good. Nautica Grant playing with a little bit of a hip flexor issue. Has not stopped the lefty. She's got a trio of threes. And it's 22 to 20. Northwestern State hanging right with New Orleans. There's going to be a foul on Jasmine Johnson guarding Randy Brown about 35 feet away from the basket. And that's not the kind of foul you want to get called on you. Here's Jada Duncantel. Duncan Tell going to try to cross over Bell. Bell stays in front of her. Duncan Tell loses it. Tia Youngblood on the floor to cover it up. It's going to be a jump ball possession. Northwestern State. So Tia Youngblood full of vim and vigor tonight. And then there's an argument over, actually, it's going to be New Orleans ball. The possession arrow never got changed. So. Cheney Munch, our head referee, came over and made sure uh, everything was uh, was kosher there. 3.04 to go in the second quarter, 22-20. Duncan Tell into Woods. Woods' right-hand layup is good over Johnson, 24-20. Shania Woods making things tough on Northwestern State inside. There's going to be a travel call on Victoria Miller. I guess Marlia Vidal, our official Thought she shuffled the, the pivot foot. Any rate, Lady Demons turning it over. Duncan Tell into the front court, gives off to Mundy. Mundy guarded by Grant, up top to Matthews. Matthews swings it to Duncan Tell. Duncan Tell to Brown. Brown pulling a long straightaway three. It's no good. Defensive rebound in self defense by Victoria Miller. Pass to Bell. Jump ball. This time possession is indeed with Northwestern State. Duncan Tell, we mentioned from right here in Natchitoches, played at Natchitoches Central High School. Right across the wood way. We have official stoppage here. 28 seconds on the shot clock, so they're going to say there was a two-second runoff from when Victoria Miller had the rebound and flipped to Gabby Bell. So. About right. Two and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Jasmine Johnson being face guarded by Kayla Mundy. Off to Youngblood. Youngblood to Bell. Bell going to drive the right side. Give it back. Grant, three-pointer. It's partially blocked and rebounded by Woods. Woods out to Mundy. Looked like it may have been Randy Brown that got a piece of that shot. Mundy into Matthews. Left hand, right hand. Jumper is good from about eight feet in the paint over Tia Youngblood. So UNO has the last four, and it's a six-point privateer lead as we approach two minutes here in the second quarter. Grant into Miller. Miller, short jumper. She's fouled, and it almost rolls in. Foul going to be called on Haley Matthews. Second foul on Matthews. Asia Woods getting ready to check back in after the first free throw. Victoria Miller at the line. Miller one for two so far at the line. First free throw for Miller is good. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Woods will check in for Haley Matthews. So it'll be Asia Woods, Shania Woods, Kayla Mundy, Randy Brown, and Jada Duncantel on the floor for New Orleans. 
Gabby Belti, Youngblood Victoria Miller, Nautica Grant, Jasmine Johnson on the floor for Northwestern State. Miller, a clean swish on the second free throw, 26-22. Miller now three for four from the line. There's going to be an offensive foul away from the ball. Asia Woods lays out Tia Youngblood. Youngblood stood her ground and draws the foul. Fifth foul of the quarter. So for the final minute 49, any foul will send the Lady Demons to the free throw line for two shots. I should say any foul. That's not an offensive player control foul. Here's Gabby Bell working top. The key looks for Grant. Grant pivots. Drives on Brown into lane. Floater is up and it rattles out. Rebounded by Asia Woods. Woods nearly traveled with it. Flips it to Duncan Tell. Duncan Tell ahead to Brown. Brown pulls it back to Duncan Tell. Swings it cross court to Mundy. Mundy about 28 feet out. Turns it over. Victoria Miller looking like a quarterback. Jump the lane. She's going to drive. Give it to Grant. Grant right wing three is up and it's short. But rebound tipped out, Shania Woods comes away with it. That would have been big on a couple of reasons. Duncan Tell into the front court. She's going to be caught for a double dribble. So Northwestern State going to take the possession back. A minute seven to go here in the second quarter, trailing 26-22. Gabby Bell. Slow dribble in the front court. One minute to play in the second quarter. New Orleans 26, Northwestern State 22. Miller, left wing to Bell, straight on. Right wing, Tia Youngblood. There's Grant, top of the key. Grant going to drive in the lane, flip up the lefty scoop. It's no good, rebounded by Shania Woods. Woods pushes to Mundy. Mundy going to push the pace just a little bit. Opportunity for New Orleans to go two for one here. It's slipping away. Randy Brown, left-hand entry pass to Woods at the high post. Woods going to give it back to Brown. Youngblood hedging, tipped away by Jasmine Johnson. Now trapped at the top, timeout asked for and granted. Keyshawn Davenport calls timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout and join you back on the Demon Sports Network. 26-22, UNO leading Northwestern State. Western State Basketball on the Demon Sports Network. Lady Demons trailing 26-22, 20.9 seconds to go. Seven seconds on the shot clock for New Orleans, who inbounds and throw it into the backcourt. Jada Duncan tell a long way from the basket. Freshman dribbling top of the key, spins on Bell. Short floater is no good. Ball tipped out, run down by Bell. And there's going to be a foul called on Asia Woods and Keyshawn Davenport. Showing her frustration with her freshman point guard, popped her hands and pointed to the temple saying, be smart. You had seven seconds on the shot clock and you inbounded the ball 40 feet from the basket. Gabby Bell will shoot free throws for Northwestern State. Lady Demons chance to get this to within two. Bell, 57.4% free throw shooter. First one rims out. She's now 27 to 48 on the year at the line. Bell's second free throw up and is good. So 26-23, 10.9 seconds to go in the second quarter. Kayla Mundy will take the ball out. Lady Demon's going to pressure full court into Duncan Tell. Duncan Tell bobbles, nearly picked off and is stolen in the back court and then turned back over. Loose ball. Duncan Tell will run it down in the corner. Gets through a trap and will not put up a shot. So that's how the first half will end on a wild scramble in the backcourt under the Lady Demon basket. 26-23, New Orleans leads Northwestern State.
Welcome back as the second half has begun here inside Prather Coliseum. Gabby Bell bringing the ball into the front court for Northwestern State. Lady Demons starting the same five they started to begin the game. Gabby Bell, Jada Freeman, Leah Barnes, Victoria Miller, and Jocelyn Scott. There's a turnover. Leah Barnes shuffled her feet before she drove in. It's like the same five starters for New Orleans as well have started the second half. Randy Brown, Mariah Wright. Shania Woods, Asia Woods, and Kayla Mundy. Here's Wright coming into the front court, slow dribble. To Mundy on the left wing. Mundy crosses between her legs, feeds it in to Shania Woods. Woods' shot is up and good. Woods with 11 to lead all scorers now. Scott into the front court, back to Bell. Bell going to stop and swing it to Victoria Miller. Miller pausing before handing off to Jada Freeman. A little dribble weave action at the top of the key. Freeman still dribbling, tipped away by Brown in the backcourt, but recovered by Freeman. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Here's Jada driving, gets doubled, kicks it to Miller. Miller, she turned it over, called for steps along the baseline. So Northwestern State, two possessions, two turnovers, and that leads to three subs. Nautica Grant, Tia Youngblood, Jasmine Johnson checking in for the first time in the second half for Northwestern State. Right, bringing the ball into the front court, slow dribble again. New Orleans hasn't really looked to run much tonight. Here's Mundy with the left hand, loses the dribble for the time being, guarded by Grant. Here's Asia Woods at the top of the key to Mariah Wright. Right, looking, looking, finds Shania Woods. Jump shot is blocked, but there's going to be a foul called. I believe it's going to be on Tia Youngblood. Youngblood called for her second foul of the game. Woods will go to the free throw line where she is a 75% free throw shooter, 30 for 40 on the year. First free throw hits about every part of the rim and bounces out. Second free throw coming. It was just the second free throw of the game for the Privateers. Second free throw for Woods is clean at 29-23 UNO leads. Three-quarter court pressure, a little 2-1-2 from New Orleans. Gabby Bell loses control, actually lost control and threw it off of Woods' Asia Woods' leg and got it to go out of bounds. So Tia Youngblood will inbound from just outside the half court line. Gets it in to Gabby Bell. 20 seconds on the shot clock for the Lady Demons. Here's Jasmine Johnson, left-hand dribble, stops at the free throw line, gives it to Grant, Grant to Bell. Bell inside to Youngblood. Youngblood short shot, she is fouled by Shania Wood. So T Youngblood listed as giving away three inches to Shania Woods and that's just in height and wingspan. I think Woods has about six or seven inches on Youngblood. But Youngblood playing hard as she is wont to do. Tia will go to the line for the first time tonight. First free throw rattles out. Tia now 9 for 19 on the year from the charity stripe. Early in the second half, I think it's going to be called a little bit tighter than it was in the first half. Second free throw for Youngblood is good. Lady Demons now 7 for 10 at the line. 29-24, New Orleans leading. 8.20 to go here in the third quarter. Lady Demons going to show a little full court pressure. Here's Woods into the front court. Layup no good. Randy Brown briefly had the offensive rebound and lost it out of bounds, and she looks at her bench, taps her collarbone, and says, my bad. Again, three-quarter court pressure from UNO barely, the pass gets to Gabby Bell. She's going to take it up the right sideline to the baseline. Kick it up top to Youngblood, Youngblood to Grant. Grant going to hold it and slow things back down. Dangerous pass by Grant to start that offensive possession. Here's Bell all the way to the basket, and layup is good. First field goal of the second half for the Lady Demons. First field goal of the game for Gabby Bell. She's got three. Lady Demons trail 29-26. Here's Kayla Mundy, right wing, up top to Woods. Woods to Woods, tipped out of bounds. I think it's going to be touched last by Shania Woods. So UNO turning it over. And this is a 
a lot like the start to last week's game where Northwestern State coughed it up 30 times and UNO coughed it up, coughed it up 25 times. Here's Youngblood, slow dribble, gets it into the front court to Grant. Grant to Bell. The Lady Demons have numbers but can't attack. Turnover, Gabby Bell. Randy Brown jumped the pass, and Brown is into the front court. Picked up by Johnson at the free throw line. Loses her dribble, gives it off to Mundy. Mundy lob into Shania Woods. Woods' layup is no good. Rebounded by Asia Woods. Asia Woods' layup is no good. Rebounded by Shania Woods. Woods is fouled. Leah Barnes called for the foul amidst all the woods. So Shania Woods will go back to the free throw line. Woods two for three at the line. 12 points so far for. First free throw for Woods. Rattles out. Grimm has not been kind to any free throw shooter and really any jump shooter. had not seen a lot just rattle in. Everything's kind of been soft off the rim and out. Second free throw by Woods. She found the stroke on that one. And UNO is back up four, 30 to 26. Little token pressure here in the front court. Brown knocks it away from Grant. Grant picks up a dribble into the front court. Lady Demons with numbers. Dishes to, Wood, uh, to Barnes. Barnes with the layup and it's good. So Nautica Grant getting into the lane and finding Leah Barnes. Barnes, her first point, she had 14 a week ago in the second half. Here's Mundy, pull up at the free throw line, no good. Defensive rebound, Leah Barnes. Lady Demons with a chance to tie or take the lead. Gabby Bell pulls up, gives it up to Grant. Grant guarded by Mundy on the right wing. Lady Demons working it outside the three-point line. Here's Jasmine Johnson off a of Barnes screen. Barn, er, Johnson in the lane, layup good, and we are tied at 30 with 6.22 to play in the third quarter. 30 all. Jasmine Johnson. Good drive in. Ball tipped out of bounds. It will stay. New Orleans basketball, 6-11 to go here in the third quarter. 30-30. This game is played at the pace Northwestern State wants it. Here's Randy Brown about 28 feet from the basket. She loses it off her foot, and it's going to be a turnover. So Randy Brown entered the game as the nation's 10th leading scorer. She has not scored through the first 24 minutes of this basketball game. Heck of a defensive effort by Northwestern State. Here's Gabby Bell dribbling at the top of the key, gives off to Youngblood. Youngblood to Grant. Grant gonna feed Leah Barnes. Barnes flips it to Bell. Bell, top of the key, three is good. Gabby Bell, her first three of the game. She hit all three. Three-point tries last week at New Orleans. So Gabby finding the UNO defense to her liking. Here's Mundy, short jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, Asia Woods blocked on the putback. Tia Youngblood coming out of nowhere, and Tia Youngblood is having her own block party tonight. Back as a freshman, she blocked three shots against Lamar in the conference tournament semifinals. It's going to be a foul away from the ball. So there's going to be a stoppage. I think they're going to reset the shot clock. Shot clock was reset for some reason. Ball never touched the rim. Anyway, Tia Youngblood had three blocks on March 14th, 2015 against Lamar. That was part of that four wins in four days for the Lady Demons down in Katy in the Southland Conference Tournament. Tia Youngblood has tied her career high now with three blocks. She has a steal. She has three points and seven rebounds. She's been a spark off that Lady Demon bench. They're going to go to replay. Jody Taylor going to take a look. And we can tell you that Northwestern State Lady Demon basketball sponsored on the Demon Sports Network by the Walk-Ons Independence Bowl, Chevy Land, Abares Town, Town and Country, and Manpower, all proud sponsors of the Demon Sports Network and Northwestern State Lady Demon basketball. Lady Demons leading 33 to 30. I'll tell you folks, if you are looking for something to do on February 10th, the Northwestern State baseball team is having its annual auction. Individual tickets available for $25. Corporate sponsorships and tables available for $500. That gets you a private table with eight seats and a verbal thank you from the coaching staff during the event. For more information, contact assistant coach Chris Bertrand via email at bertrandc 
at nsula.edu. Inbound pass. And Jasmine Johnson, I believe, is going to be called for a foul. Nope, they're going to get Nautica Grant. And it certainly sounded like that was all ball. At least Jasmine Johnson caught all ball. Grant called for the foul. That is her first. And we'll send Shania Woods back to the line. Woods three for five. She shot every one of New Orleans' free throws. First one is good. 5.31 to go in the third quarter. Northwestern State leading New Orleans 33-31. Second free throw by Woods. No good. Defensive rebound to you, Youngblood. Youngblood ahead to Bell. Bell going to take it into the front court. Jasmine Johnson going to drive baseline, give it up to Leah Barnes. Barnes pivots, gives it to Bell. Bell looking to use a Youngblood screen, gives it up to Nautica Grant on the left wing. Grant dribbling out. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Youngblood steps in. Gives it back to Jasmine Johnson. Johnson drives baseline. Actually, they're going to say she stepped out of bounds. So Northwestern State did not look very in control there in that possession. So turnover for the Lady Demons. It was their 12th. Here's Mundy on the right wing. Jasmine Johnson falling down, getting back up. Here's Mundy driving layup is good. So we're tied at 33, under five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Here's Johnson right wing. She's going to be fouled by Kayla Mundy. And that will bring us to an official's timeout. 4.44 to play in the third quarter. Northwestern State, New Orleans, all tied at 33 here on the Demon Sports Network. Luck are proud sponsors of Northwestern State basketball, bringing you this broadcast on the Demon Sports Network. Northwestern State and New Orleans tied at 33, 4.44 to play in the third quarter here at Prather Coliseum. Lady Demons doing a number defensively on Randy Brown, the nation's 10th leading scorer at 22.3 points per game, has not scored more than 25 minutes into this game. Lady Demons ball in the front court. Nautica Grant trapped. She'll take a timeout. They're going to stretch this to a media timeout. So we'll take a one-minute break and join you back here on the Demon Sports Network. With other Demon fans, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Demons and follow at NSU Demons on Twitter. You can also follow us on Instagram at NSU Demons and Snapchat at Demons NSU. And fans, for all of your NSU Demon gear needs, shop at the official online store of NSU Athletics at NSUDemonGear.com. Proceeds from NSUDemonGear.com help support Demon Athletics.
Kilpatrick Drive, our proud sponsors of Northwestern State Basketball here on the Demons Sports Network. Lady Demons will inbound from the far sideline. 4.37 to go in the third quarter. 24 seconds on the shot clock. Nautica Grant will trigger things in. She'll get it to Gabby Bell near the circle. Bell back to Grant. No, excuse me. And Grant back to Bell to Barnes to Johnson. And just about everybody has touched the ball this possession, and Youngblood has, so now everyone has touched the ball. In interior pass to Leah Barnes. Barnes pivoting, pivoting. Gives it up. Grant swings it uh, right side for Jasmine Johnson. Shot is off. But no good. Mariah Wright loses control of the ball. She tried to draw the foul on Gabby Bell. Instead, it will be Northwestern State basketball with a fresh shot clock. They will inbound in the corner. Jasmine Johnson into Tia Youngblood. Youngblood right back to Johnson. Back to Youngblood. Left-hand dribble. Picks it up, looks for Grant. Grant and Barnes right next to each other. Barnes dribbles in, Euro step through with a layup. And the Lady Demons have a 35-33 lead with four minutes to go here in the third quarter. So nicely done by Leah Barnes. I think the confusion for the Lady Demons end up confusing the Pirateers. Here's Shania Woods, inside pass to Asia Woods. Woods a shot, no good, rebounded by Leah Barnes. Keyshawn Davenport asking for a foul from Jody Taylor. She will not get one. Into the front court, here's Nautica Grant into Tia Youngblood. Youngblood posting up, jump shot, short, no good, rebounded by Asia Woods. Woods throws it away, looking for Randy Brown, and Brown nimbly leaping onto the, it's not really a scorer's table, I guess it's a media table across the way. Haley Matthews checking in for Asia Woods, so the Lady Demons have it at midcourt, leading by two, 3.28 to play here in the third quarter. Here's Tia Youngblood, top of the key, tries to throw it in. It's tipped away and stolen by Shania Woods. Woods ahead to right, right into the front court. She'll slow things down, set something up. Here's Mundy guarded by Grant. Up top to Matthews. Matthews to right. Right, there's Brandy Brown on the curl. Brown straight away three, no good. Defensive rebound tipped around. And it ends up in the hands of Haley Matthews, who lays it in uncontested. Leah Barnes had it, had it knocked away. Matthews was wide open for the layup. He'd like to have controlled that one if you're Northwestern State. Now Gabby Bell turns it over. Shania Woods with the pick, ahead to right. Wright gives it up to Brown. Brown's going to be called. Actually, they're going to call Jasmine Johnson for the foul. I thought they were going to get Brown for steps. Instead, it's going to be on Jasmine Johnson, the foul. On the floor, fourth foul of the quarter against Northwestern State, second of the game on Jasmine Johnson, who is Northwestern State's second leading scorer tonight with eight points. Inbound to Matthews, Matthews up to right. Here's Brown, another three, catch and shoot. Rattles out, rebounded Tia Youngblood. So Randy Brown continues to struggle, has not scored, and we've played almost 28 minutes tonight. Interior pass to Barnes, Barnes spins. Catches her foot, lays it up, no good. Nice defense by Haley Matthews. Matthews ahead on the pass, it's gonna be deep. Mundy runs it down to Brown. Brown looks inside to Shania Woods. Woods guarded by Youngblood. Kicks it back out to Mundy. Brown will reset things at the top of the key with 16 on the shot clock. Gives it to Wright. Wright dribbles with the right hand. She gets in the lane, throws up a floater. It's gonna be good, and they're gonna call a blocking foul on Tia Youngblood. Mm. Mariah Wright saw an open lane. She drove it. Tia Youngblood stepped in to try to take the charge. They said they got there too late. And it's going to be the third foul against Tia Youngblood. Fifth foul on the Lady Demons this quarter. Cheney Munch going over to our replay. And Keyshawn Davenport maybe with the line of the year from a visiting coach telling the referees the Lord is watching. So, it's going to be a official timeout. We'll take a quick 30-second break and join you back here on the Demon Sports Network. And the basket is good. One shot. Privateers. Telling the replay period, I thought it was... Point play. 
right. Checking in number 13, Victoria Miller. She's only shot 10 free throws this year. She's eight for 10. I'm sorry, those are conference numbers. My apologies, people. Wright's free throw is no good. Rebounded by Victoria Miller. Wright was 22 of 28. She was a 78% free throw shooter. Turnover, Northwestern State. Nautica Grant threw it right to Shania Woods looking for Leah Barnes inside. Here's Mariah Wright. Wright going to push, throw up a shot, and she's going to draw the foul as she hits the deck in the restricted area. That foul is going to be on Victoria Miller. Miller caught for her first personal foul. Right out of control, got bailed out a little bit there. So right, as we've established, is now 22 of 29 at the line this season. First free throw from right is good. It's now 38-35. New Orleans leading Northwestern State a minute 43 to play in the third quarter. Second free throw, also good. Four-point game. Gabby Bell bring the ball into the front court for Northwestern State. She'll give off to Grant. Grant just holding the ball, gets it to Bell. Bell to Johnson. Johnson going to curl around the top of the key. Stop. Get it to Miller. Miller swings it out to Bell. Bell, three-pointer left side, too strong. Rebounded by Shania Woods. Woods ahead to right. Right, off to Randy Brown. Brown guarded by Johnson, steps through, misses the shot, rebounded by Victoria Miller. Miller ahead to Jasmine Johnson. Johnson into Barnes, Barnes with position, stops, looks for the shot, layup is good, nicely done, weird angle, but effective result for Leah Barnes. Barnes with six points now. Lady Demons down two, 43 seconds to play in the third quarter. Mundy's interior pass finds Woods. Woods bailed out to Mundy. Mundy three-pointer no good. Defensive rebound, Victoria Miller. She got inside Matthews, and Victoria's going to look to push into the front court. Lady Demons going to call for likely the last shot. There's about a second and a half difference between the shot clock and the game clock. 16 on the shot clock. Jordan Dupuy wants his team to run the down set. Three players along the baseline. Leah Barnes screening out top. Pass to Grant. Grant inside the arc. She is fouled by Randy Brown. Brown's second foul. Whitley Larry will check back in for Shania Woods. Second foul by Randy Brown, and not a bad foul. You're not in the bonus. You got 4.2 seconds to defend. Honestly, if I'm UNO, I foul again. You don't let them get off a shot. You've got two foul, really one foul to play with, two before you go into the bonus. Gabby Bell will inbound along the baseline. Cross screen from Johnson and Bell. Bell looking, finding Victoria Miller wide open. Layup no good, but there's going to be a foul called on Haley Matthews with two seconds to go. Miller will go to the line. Nice job. It took Bell a while to find Miller, but she was standing all alone on the right block, and Matthews coming over, caught her on the arm on the layup. So Miller, three for four at the line today. She's got five points and six rebounds. First free throw rattles in. Good. So Victoria really stepping her game up here lately. Had 12 points, which was a career high on Saturday against Central Arkansas, and you heard Jordan Dupuy mention how she played good defense a week ago down at New Orleans. Second free throw for Miller is also good, touching just about every part of the rim before falling through. 39-39, here comes Brown. She's not even going to take a shot at the end of the quarter. So that's where we'll head to the fourth quarter, tied at 39. We'll be back in one minute here on the Demon Sports Network. It's time for Lady 
Lady Demons. And New Orleans tied at 39 as we head to the fourth quarter. Lady Demons looking to stop a three-game losing streak. New Orleans looking for its first six-game winning streak since 1992. No one on this court was alive when that happened. At least no players. I'm sure some of our referees were. Kayla Mundy, Mariah Wright, Randy Brown, Whitley Larry, Haley Matthews, the five on the court for UNO. Victoria Miller, Leah Barnes, Jasmine Johnson, Gabby Bell, and Nautica Grant on the court for Northwestern State. Mariah Wright, left-hand dribble. Gabby Bell looking for the steal, nearly came away with it. Here's Wright off to Mundy. Mundy works off a Matthews screen, pulls up her dribble. Wright trying to work off a Mundy screen. There's a lot of traffic on this side of the floor. Here's Matthews driving in the lane. Pull-up jumper is good from one step inside the free throw line. New Orleans, a 41-39 lead. Bell looking, finds Nautica Grant. Grant gives to Barnes on the baseline. Barnes cross-court pass picked off by Randy Brown. Not the pass you want to make there if you're Leah Barnes. Here's Brown driving, left-hand layup, and it's good. And 9-10 to go in the fourth quarter. So it took Randy Brown 30 minutes and 50 seconds to score. The nation's 10th leading scorer. Here's Barnes inside, blocked by Matthews. Ball goes out of bounds. So the good news is it, if you're Northwestern State, is it took Randy Brown almost 31 minutes to score her first points of the game. The bad news is, you're down four with nine minutes to go. Bell looking, backcourt throws it away, and Mariah Wright's going to have a breakaway layup. Jasmine Johnson trying to chase her down. Layup no good, but it's tipped out of bounds by Victoria Miller. Nice defense by Jasmine Johnson to hustle back. It was an overthrow into the backcourt by Gabby Bell. Wright able to run it down, and good job by Johnson to force her to the left-hand side, her non-dominant hand. Mundy, long look. She finds... Randy Brown, now guarded by Nautica Grant. Brown, right wing, backs it out to about 35 feet from the basket. Turns down a screen, looks to Mundy. Mundy goes between the legs. She's got Whitley Larry in the high post. Larry looking, finds a wide open Mariah Wright. Layup short, deflected, or uh, altered rather, by Victoria Miller Wright with the offensive rebound. Steal by Jasmine Johnson. She tipped a long pass to Nautica Grant. Grant. Lost it, but Victoria Miller picks it up. Miller, not sure if she has her dribble or not, gives it off to Grant, who gives it back to Johnson. So Lady Demon's going to try to turn a little defense into some offense. Here with 8.14 to play. Bell dribbling, looking, looking. She's got Grant. Grant going to pull a three-pointer. It's no good, just short. Victoria Miller hustling for the offensive rebound. Her shot blocked, or at least affected by Whitley Larry, who comes down with it. Miller looking more for contact, didn't get it. At least didn't get the call. 7.55 to go in the fourth, 43-39. New Orleans over Northwestern State. Haley Matthews looking top of the key. Throws it away, and Randy Brown's body language says it all. Brown couldn't get to the pass or didn't get to the pass and just kind of slumped shouldered away toward the sideline. Here's Gabby Bell into the front court. Lady Demons down four to Johnson. Johnson going to drive, stop, and kick it back to Bell. Bell to Miller. Miller free throw line jumper, too strong. Pulled down by Whitley Larry. Rattled out one too many times. Just a little better touch from Vic, and that one goes down. Right dribbling. Pulling back up to the top of the key and a little farther out, slowing things down. Here's Brown on a curl. Brown step back three. Shot up, no good. Ball tipped out. Whitley Larry could not control it. It's going to be a rebound for Northwestern State and possession. Under the UNO basket, down four. Here's Bell. She'll take the ball into the front court. Mariah Wright will pick her up just inside half court. Lady Demons will move the ball around. Here's Johnson on a drive. Back at the top of the key, back to Bell. Johnson going to set the screen. Bell going to use it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. There's Miller on the right wing. That's not her shot. Six seconds, here's Grant. Grant gonna have to pull it, five, four, finds Miller, layup, good. Nicely done with one second on the shot clock. Nautica Grant, a perfect bounce pass. Miller got the shot off and it rolled in, 43-41. Lady Demons trailing New Orleans, here's Mariah Wright. Handing off to Randy Brown, Brown gonna dribble in, double pump.
going to be tipped out and off of Whitley Larry. So good defense by Jasmine Johnson, forcing Randy Brown to double clutch on the shot. Got a sub in. Shania Woods back in the game for Haley Matthews. A little time as Whitley Larry ties her shoe. 6.24 to go. Lady Demons trailing 43-41. Northwestern State, a plus five rebound advantage, allowing them to stay in this game. Shooting 32.6%. Here's Grant trapped along the sideline, throws it to Miller. Miller back to Bell. Bell to Grant. Grant going to dribble with the right hand. Step back, left hand jumper blocked by Mundy. Rebound tipped up and around, and Mundy actually got it back and was fouled. Leah Barnes going to be called for the foul about 90 feet from her base uh, from her basket. Third on Barnes, first foul on either team this quarter. 6:04 to go in the fourth. New Orleans 43, Northwestern State 41. Here's Mundy dribbling with the right hand. She'll give off to Shania Woods. Woods back to Mundy. There's Randy Brown, right wing, left hand dribble, crossing over, spinning. Gives it up to Whitley Larry, jumper for Larry, rattles in and out. Victoria Miller pulls down the rebound. She wants to run a little bit. Ahead to Bell, Bell gonna stop, go behind the back. Give it to Miller, just to the right of the top of the key. She'll give to Johnson. Johnson tries to pass, it's tipped and stolen by Randy Brown. Brown now trapped in the backcourt. She gets it away to Mariah Wright. Wright goes behind the back. She'll attack the basket and pull it back. Here's Mundy Brown calling for it. Guarded by Leah Barnes at the top of the key. Barnes is not going to give ground. She's going to attack defensively. Here's Mundy on the right wing. She looks inside. Here's Shania Woods. Short right hand turnaround is good. Shania Woods had inside position on a smaller Northwestern State defender and was able to lay the shot up and in. Here's Grant to Miller. Top of the key. Off to Johnson. Back to Bell. Bell throws it away. And Northwestern State will turn it over. We've come to the final media timeout of the game. Northwestern State trailing New Orleans 45-41. We'll be back in one minute on the Demon Sports Network. Welcome to Bloodline. Western State hosting McNeese in a doubleheader. Women will play at 1, the men will follow at 3.30. Both games on ESPN3. You can hear both games also on 100.7 KZBL. Right now on KZBL, Patrick Netherton, Doug Ireland with the call of the Northwestern State men's game at New Orleans. Demons trailing 36-24 at the half. Here in Natchitoches, Lady Demons down 45-41, 4.49 to go. In the final quarter, Lady Demons going to trap half court. Jocelyn Scott is tra uh, and Tia Youngblood back in the game. Here's Wright. Oh, got away with a carry there. There's Wright, left side, may have traveled. Here's a layup. She gets in, misses the layup. Tia Youngblood pulls down the rebound. So, looked like she got away with a couple of violations. And as the kids like to say, ball don't lie. Here's Grant, left side, looking for Youngblood. Youngblood. Picks up her dribble, gives it to Scott, left wing. Jocelyn looking, gives it to Gabby Bell. Bell pulls up, goes behind the back, looks for Barnes at the top of, or at the free throw line. Barnes dribbles and drives and goes off her leg, turns it over, 4.09 to play. Lady Demons down four. Northwestern State, nobody in double figures. Nine points each for Victoria Miller and Nautica Grant. Shania Woods leads all scorers with 16 points. 
teammate Kayla Mundy has 11. Here's Mundy at the free throw line. She'll pull it back out to right. Right, left side to Randy Brown. Brown trapped. Gets it inside to Larry. It's tipped away. Ball stolen. They're going to call a held ball, and the ball will go to Northwestern State. Possession arrow. That was a quick whistle by Chaney Munch. Her and Gabby Bell have a little talk there in the back court. Each tap each other on the back, say thank you very much. Nautica Grant talking to Jody Taylor. So Northwestern players having conversations with referees and Jordan Dupuis saying, okay, nice talking, get, get into the offense. Here's Grant in the right corner, dribbling with the left hand to Youngblood in the high post. Youngblood spins, gets it back to Grant. Three-pointer, Nautica right corner, good! Three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Nautica Grant's fourth three of the game has pulled Northwestern State to within 45-44. First points of the second half for the left-handed Grant. Nautica now four for 10 from the outside. Loose ball knocked away. It's going to stay New Orleans ball on the baseline. Randy Brown will inbound. She's looking, she'll go up top. Mariah Wright catches it on the volleyball line. Gives it to Brown. Brown, hard pass tipped away by Jocelyn Scott. Scott looking very much like a cornerback there, tipping away a line drive pass from Randy Brown. 3.09 to go, 45-44, Northwestern State. Trailing New Orleans here, inbounds to Larry. Larry looking, gets it back to right. Right up top to Mundy. Mundy to the high post for Shania Woods. Three seconds on the shot clock. Woods dribbling. She gets it off and banks it. No good. Tia Youngblood, a strong rebound. Lady Demons with a chance to take the lead into the front court. Here's Grant. Bumped by Mundy. Gets the ball out to Gabby Bell. And, Brown, and Grant is down in the corner. We mentioned, as Jordan Dupuy mentioned in his pregame, Nautica Grant had a little bit of a hip flexor issue. She's down right now. Athletic trainer Colleen Brown is going to go out to a tender. We'll take a quick 30-second break and come right back here on the Demon Sports Network. up as athletic trainer Colleen Brown works to stretch her, looks like a right leg out. Saturday we mentioned the doubleheader with McNeese. That is the gumbo cook-off. Always a good time. Some good food to be had. Uh, follows the chili cook-off from last week. There's still room to enter your team in the gumbo cook-off. You can reach out to Tori Thompson. Thompson DA at NSULA.edu. Give Tori a call at 357-5450 if you'd like to enter your team. So Grant will exit the game. She's hobbling along the baseline. Jasmine Johnson in the game. Tia Youngblood, Gabby Bell, Leah Barnes, Jocelyn Scott. Here is Scott in the left corner. She's going to take a barn screen, throw it back to Leah. Leah has the baseline jumper, gives it back to Scott. Scott, three-pointer all the way. It's good. Nice inside out game for Northwestern State. Lady Demons up 47-45, two and a half minutes. What a time for Jocelyn Scott to knock down her first field goal of the game. First points for Josh, she's got three, and they couldn't have come at a bigger time. Here's Kayla Mundy driving, gets away with a push off, pull up, no good. Offensive rebound, Larry, she throws it out, it's picked up by Gabby Bell. Bell wants to run, she's got numbers, and the shot is blocked by Randy Brown. So a two-on-one situation. New Orleans did have help on the trail. Here's the inbound. Here's Jocelyn Scott going to try another three. This one good as well. Jocelyn Scott, two daggers in the last 30 seconds. Northwestern State up 50-45. That is the largest lead of the game for Northwestern State. Here's Brown on the drive. She throws it up. It's no good. 
Offensive rebound, Whitley. Larry, Larry is fouled by Leah Barnes. Barnes called for her fourth foul. That will send Whitley Larry to the line. Larry shooting just her sixth and seventh free throws of the season. She's two for five. So if you're gonna foul somebody, this seems to be the right person to foul. First free throw is no good. So Northwestern State up five, a minute 44 to play. And what a difference home court makes. A week ago, as we were down at Lakefront Arena, Northwestern State walking off the court, defeated by 18 points. Here in the fourth quarter, second free throw, no good. Tia Youngblood with the rebound. She has pulled down 12 rebounds today. Into the front court, there is Jasmine Johnson. She'll give it up to Leah Barnes. Barnes left hand dribble. Up to Youngblood, Youngblood to Gabby Bell. 12 rebounds, one shy of Tia Youngblood's high. It is her high against a Division I opponent. Bell with five on the shot clock, knocked down, ball stolen away. Mundy has it to Whitley Larry. Not able to run, five point lead, Northwestern State, minute 10 to go. Here's uh, Randy Brown takes it about 30 feet from the basket, dribbling against Jasmine Johnson. Johnson and Scott working to double. Here's the inside pass, Shania Woods, strong layup, 56 seconds to go. Keyshawn Davenport wants a timeout. 50 to 47, Northwestern State leading. We'll take a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. So Northwestern State getting contributions up and down the lineup. Only one player in double figures. That's Nautica Grant with 12. But six, six players, six of the seven Lady Demons who have scored have at least six points. Gabby Bell with six, Victoria Miller with nine, Leah Barnes with six, Jocelyn Scott with six. Those all came in a 30 second uh, span about a minute and a half ago. She knocked down two threes, two huge threes. Nautica Grant has 12, Jasmine Johnson eight. Northwestern State right now seven for 17 from three. Meanwhile, New Orleans one for 11 for three. Randy Brown, who entered the game, averaging 22.3 points per game, is 1 for 12 from the field. 0 for 7, she has 2 points, 1 assist, and 3 turnovers. Tia Youngblood will inbound, 57.2 seconds on the clock. Lady Demons leading 50-47. Northwestern State looking to snap a three-game losing streak. Here's the inbound pass, tipped out of bounds by Whitley Larry. So Tia will again inbound this time off the sideline. Actually, they're going to have Jasmine Johnson inbound. Unlike just a minute ago where Tia was able to run the baseline, Jasmine Johnson's going to have to take her spot. She cannot move. They're going to put Whitley Larry on her. <laughs> they finally get everything set up. Jody Taylor tells Whitley Larry where she can and can't go. Jasmine Johnson waiting, waiting. Not sure what's going on. Checking the shot clock, Keyshawn Davenport, and here we go. We're going to have a change in the shot clock, which is the right call. Should probably be 29 seconds because it looks like 1.8 seconds ran off on that tip. So I guess maybe it'll be, 20, it'll be 28 or 29 seconds either way. Update from down in New Orleans, 18 minutes to go. New Orleans leading Northwestern State 40 to 28. Well. It'll stay 30 seconds on the shot clock. Lady Demons picking up an extra 1.8 seconds of possession. Jasmine Johnson looking, she gets it in Jocelyn Scott. Scott under the basket, guarded, flips it ahead. That ball tipped out of bounds by Randy Brown. And Brown, who is maybe an amateur parkour runner, that's why she's been able to hop up on one of the uh, scorer's tables, this time right in front of Dennis Breland and, and the crew down to my right. 51.5 seconds inbounds, gets ahead to Tia Youngblood. Youngblood back to Johnson. Johnson going to drive, knock to the court. It's going to be timeout. Nicely done by the bench. That was very close to being a tie ball situation, and the arrow is pointing to New Orleans somehow. 
Northwestern State gets a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here and tell you that again, Saturday, the gumbo cook-off here. Demons and Lady Demons hosting McNeese, longtime rival. McNeese got the better of Northwestern State in the doubleheader sweep on December 30th. Lady Demons fell 72-67, but this looks like a much different Lady Demon team playing at home. They played Central Arkansas very tight. Of course, the Sugar Bears, two-time defending SLC tournament champions and regular season crown winners. So doing that probably built a lot of confidence in this Northwestern State team. We'll see if they can close out a tight game. They struggled a little bit two weeks ago here against Sam Houston State, made that a lot tighter game than it needed to be. We'll see what Northwestern State has learned. Gabby Bell to inbound on the baseline. Jasmine Johnson, T, Youngblood, Jocelyn Scott, Leah Barnes on the court. Here's Johnson back to Bell. New Orleans waiting to get somebody out there. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Youngblood, good screen up top. Here's Johnson in the corner to Youngblood. Youngblood underneath is going to draw the foul on Haley Matthews. It's going to be a two-shot foul. So nicely done by Tia Youngblood. Important because that is the first foul of the fourth quarter against New Orleans. So had it been on the floor, it would have done Northwestern State no good. It would have been possession out of bounds. Instead, Tia Youngblood will go to the line. She's one for two from there tonight. Three points, 12 rebounds, one shy of a career high. So Tia, 50% free throw shooter on the year, 50% free throw shooter tonight. First free throw is good. Line drive shot, did not touch the rim. Shania Woods checking in for Haley Matthews. Woods, 18 points, a game high right now. Youngblood, one dribble, deep knee bend, second free throw is up and it's a little strong and Woods has the rebound. It's gonna be a timeout, New Orleans will be a 30-second time. I will take it with you. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on the Demon Sports Network. seconds to go. New Orleans will have the ball in the front court. That was a rule that was changed a couple of years ago in women's basketball. You call a timeout, you can advance the ball. It's been beneficial for a lot of teams. Lady Demons have a four-point lead. Whitley Larry inbounds. Ball tipped away. Mariah Wright able to get it. Jocelyn Scott nearly came away with a steal. Three-pointer for Monday on the way is strong. Defensive rebound. Victoria Miller is tied up and that's going to stay New Orleans ball. Mm. Victoria came up with it, but was tied up. So she will, actually New Orleans will have the ball underneath its own basket. Here's right for Randy Brown. Brown, step back three, that's gonna be off. It's gonna actually be an air ball. So Randy Brown's tough shooting night continues. She's now one for 13, 0 for eight. It'll be a timeout taken by Jordan Dupuy. We'll keep it right here. 18.9 seconds to go. 51-47, Northwestern State leading. Lady Demons will inbound the ball under the basket. Now, here is where it's a good thing for Northwestern State. UNO has to foul the Demons, Lady Demons, four times to cause free throws. So every time you get the ball in, you can run probably a second or a second half off the clock. You go down there, and if you make two free throws, it's a six point game. And likely you do so with about 10 seconds to go. UNO has one timeout left. Lady Demons out of timeouts. Northwestern State, a 51-47 lead against the New Orleans team that have won five in a row, one of the hottest teams in the Southland Conference. Northwestern State looking to make that second half run as Greg Burke talked about at halftime. Lady Demons and Demons not out 
of conference tournament competition or conference tournament hunt by any stretch. Jasmine Johnson to inbound in the front court, gets it into Tia Youngblood. Youngblood will be fouled, but it took 1.9 seconds for the privateers to do that. Now, Youngblood two for four on the court right now. Jocelyn Scott, Gabby Bell, Victoria Miller, T. Youngblood, Jasmine Johnson. If you're Northwestern State, you feel pretty good tonight with Victoria Miller at the line. She's five for six. Johnson's pass tipped and intercepted by Whitley Larry. Here's the push ahead. Here's Randy Brown into the front court, runs into Victoria Miller. It's gonna be a charge. Victoria Miller got ahead and took the charge. Nicely done. She was out ahead of Brown. Brown lowered her shoulder, looking, I guess, for a potential three-point play if she could have got the shot up. Instead, it's going to be a turnover. Northwestern State ball, 10.8 seconds left, inbounding underneath the UNO basket. Imperative. Imperative Northwestern State gets this ball inbounds. They'll run a four-flat set. Four players across the court. Victoria Miller will go deep. She'll cut back. She has it. She'll hold it. They're going to run a little clock. It took 2.3 seconds. Actually, excuse me, 3.1. My math's off. 7.7 .7 seconds left. Northwestern State inbounding on the sideline. Third foul. Actually, my apologies. Yes, third foul of the quarter. UNO must foul two more times to send Northwestern State to the line. Lady Demons can run out much of this clock if they get the ball inbounds. Young Blood inbounding to Jasmine Johnson. Johnson turns up court and is fouled with 6.5 seconds to go. So 1.2 seconds off the clock there. That was the fifth. Apparently our count was just a little bit behind. So Jasmine Johnson, two for two at the line today. The sophomore from, from West Monroe, West Monroe High School. First free throw, no good. Door slightly ajar for New Orleans. Jazz was a 66.7% free throw shooter coming in. She's two for three for the line tonight, keeping her right at her season average. Second free throw coming. Up and good. 52-47, 6.5 seconds left. Ball tip. Jocelyn Scott nearly with a steal, no time ran off the clock. If that ball is tipped, there has to be a little time that came off. 5.5 seconds to go. So I guess a second did come off. Victoria Miller gonna drop back and play center field. Whitley Larry is the trigger woman on the baseline. Mariah Wright, Randy Brown, Kayla Mundy, Shania Woods, the other four in play for New Orleans. Brown going to push it up. Two seconds, one second. She's going to pull up, take the three. It's going to be no good. And Northwestern State has snapped its three-game losing streak, a 52-47 victory against New Orleans.